stuck in a prophetic dream. Up, oh, what nerd against? This is the one and only Packer Girl 89. Today's manga nerd again. live reaction video is going to be for your Rocky Sony Unison, aka Yuna and the Haunted Hot Springs, chapter 148. So, last time I covered this manga, we actually just recently found out that Chisaki is in a dream world um, and she's, she's trapped. So, this is going to be interesting to see how uh, she's going to get out. She's only been in there for like a few minutes, but. Um, it feels like it's been 10 years. It's just insane. Let's get to this chapter and see what happens next. You're in a prophetic dream world now. Please wake up, Chisaki-san. The reality she didn't want to know just... Chisaki crosses time, is the title of this chapter. Um, everything, everything was all a dream? So the 11 years I spent here, my life with Kokun is... What is that? Uh, the town is falling apart, and it's being sucked away. What's been up with you, Chisaki? You see something weird? Am I the only one who sees this? The city's falling apart. Oh, wait, the city's falling apart? Maybe Unison is fixing the technique now, so the dream world is coming to an end. What if Mizaki-san gets caught in the destruction, so, so so we should wake her? You know, I just got proposed to by Kokan just now. Proposed? Despite all the troubles we had, uh, we overcame them together, finally. But, but, please don't mess with me. Um, do it. Jisaki-san, we're so sorry, um, um, Miyazaki-san. Uh, Miyazaki we really, we are really sorry, Jisaki-kun, but just listen to us. Your dream world may not have been perfect thanks to your outburst, but it's by no means a pure delusion. My magic eye, Laplace, sees everything in the world at a, a certain point in time. Everything from a single spirit um, strand of the person in front of me to the nucleus of dust drifting around a planet several million light years away. This magic eye gives me periodic pieces of observable data, and using um, this vast amount of information, I myself don't even understand. My Shikigami uh, news uh, can calculate the past and future. But at the end of the day, this is just a calculation, so this won't be the exact future you'll be getting. But because it's a calculation, unlike just looking into the future, um, you can actually reverse calculate the future you want from the present moment. So basically, Chisaki-kun, if you figure out what caused you to arrive at this future, then you can make it real. The dream you're seeing now is a prophetic dream. You can definitely make it a reality. So please wake up, Chisaki-kun. If I can figure it out, um, if I can figure out what caused this future, I can actually reach um, this happy future again. Well, yeah, but that's what it. If you figure that out, it was when. Um, uh, Primarily when Kokorashi lost his powers. We saw that in you know the last time I covered this manga. So information on the future. Um, Chisaki-san, it looks like you're going to be a bigger rival from now on. Yuna-san? That was around the time I lost all my spirit powers, huh? That's right. The biggest factor that led to this future was Kokon losing his spiritual powers? Which shouldn't even be possible. Like, well, yeah, he's lost his powers before, but Yuna was able to bring him back. So that's why I'm just like, mm, I don't know. Then, as she was looking for a way to get Koken's spiritual powers back, Yuna-san unsealed her own memory. That's why she passed on. Um, and because the Yadagani and Tenko and Ryosai were gone, the war occurred, and as a result, I ended up spending more time with Koken, um, alone than the others. Chisaki, did your mind go back to high school again? Can you, can you tell me, Koken, how you lost your spiritual powers? Eh? kokorashi san lost his... What do you mean, Chisaki-san? I, I don't know exactly know why. Koken, do you remember? Uh, of course I do, okay? I can't remember. Even, even you? How could we forget something so important? Uh, Miyazaki-san, maybe you can't remember the past because we destroyed the, uh, dream world just now. Wait, is there a way to remember it? The, the dream world is a lump of memory, so everything here is connected to your memory. If, if you did something that made a big impression, you can recall it by touching an item, uh, related to that specific memory, a memory, maybe, like, back then. Sorry, Koken, I... Have to go now, Chisaki. Calm down, Chisaki. Uh, let me go, Koken. Seriously, what's wrong, Chisaki? Can you at least tell me why? I can't. I can't tell you. Please, Chisaki. Why do you want to go home so suddenly? I'm not exactly going back home. Then where? Back to the night of that school trip. So this is a prophetic dream world that um, Yumasaki Sensei and Ryu, um, san created. There's a limit to believable. Do you believe me? That's what you say, Chisaki. I'm sure back then I did something to, uh, something I think, something that made your powers disappear. And if I figure that out, ah, okay, so if you figure it out, you can make this world a reality again. Yeah? Why would you do that, though, Chisaki? That's not cool. Anyway, let's, uh, look, you got no, you've got no time, right? Uh, yeah, the uniform and textbooks didn't work. Is there anything else? So, how about this, Chisaki? Um, the school trip booklet. The one I made together with Kokun as the school trip, uh, reps. Uh, Fuyazurakun's powers disappeared? What do you mean? It's the work of, uh, 
You're an Azaka shoot, Shakuhi. <gasps> that son of a bitch. And uh, you nerd against pointed out to me a few chapters back that that's who we saw right before Jisaki went in was Yonezaka Sh Shakuhito. That's who we saw. How, how though? Um, the spirit, uh, he found a moment when Yuno was separated from Frieza, uh, Zora, K Kogarashi, then sealed him uh, in darkness to seal his spiritual powers. <gasps> the spirit sealing crystal. So he used that tool w which sealed Frieza Zorakan's powers before. Um, the, when the Juma village was attacked, I thought everything in our storehouses got eviscerated. But to think he stole something, that's our fault. Um, to think he stole something, that's our fault. It'll be okay, Yuno-san. You can fix it, right? I don't really know, but I'll do whatever I can, um... Whatever I can do to fix it. You remember, Chisaki? Yeah. Yunosaka Shakuhito-san was the culprit. Eh? I didn't do anything. Do anything, huh? Then that means if I continue to do nothing, I can reach this happy future? So basically, Kokan and I were actually destined to be together from the beginning? Chisaki, can you promise with me that you'll come back to this future again? Can you hear me, Yunosan? Yes, Chisaki-san. Boyazara kind of is being targeted by the man who attacked the Chuma village, uh, Yonezaka Shakuhito. That man? He's trying to seal the Yadagane's powers using the spiritual power sealing crystal. Oh, wait, the one from back then? So please, just go to Fuyazurakun right now, Yunasan. All right, then leave it to me, Chisaki. Thanks, Kokum, but sorry, I can't take that ring. I saw it all. Yunasan's despair when you two stopped being able to see each other. Uh, sorry, warnings. Um, Yunasan's despair when you two stopped being able to touch each other. And everyone's tears that the night Yunasan passed on without even knowing what her regrets were. Then, you, then your battered appearance as you tried to shake off her passing. If this was something in the distant past, I'd have no choice but to look to the future, okay? However, now that I know how to get to this future, I, I can't just accept that I'm the only one um, attaining happiness, despite doing nothing to earn it. I'm so proud of you, Chisaki. Uh, figured. That's the woman I fell in love with, Ch uh, Chisaki. You're awake. Uh, thank goodness. Uh, good morning, Miyazaki-san. Thanks to you letting us know that uh, what you saw in your dream, we managed to chase off uh, Yonezaka, uh, Yonezaka Shakuhito, and I destroyed the crystal, so we're all okay. Yay! Uh, sorry, Chisaki-kun. I was trying to show off my abilities so you can realize I saw Asama. Thanks, Mizaki. Uh, sorry, what were Thanks, Miyazaki. Chisaki. In the end, it really was nothing but a pathetic dream. The next morning, almost everything she saw in the dream was forgotten. Even the reason why she cried the night before. Oh my gosh. Um, the real tomorrow is coming. Uh, next issue, Chisaki-san is back to the school trip and then... Oh my god, this chapter though. Wow. Like, she... I, I gotta give props to Chisaki because any selfish woman would have just let it happen. But she, she realized that... In order for her to obtain her happiness, uh, the people around her she cared about have to be unhappy. And that isn't fair. And I'm so, so proud of Chisaki. Like, this is the second manga where I'm just like, I'm, I'm just like applauded uh, that I covered today that I'm really just like, holy shit, this is great. Because I really loved what, um, the, uh, what's been going on in Kakiguri as well. But, um, but you, this was great for Chisaki. I'm so proud of Chisaki. I'm proud of, um, of uh, Rurika and, and um, Ibarra and Kakiguri in particular, uh, but uh, I really love that. This, oh, the chapters I'm covering today have just been really, really good. Anyway, very curious what you guys thought of this chapter. Are are you proud of Chisaki like I am? I'm so proud of her that she d decided to. She thought about everyone else's happiness besides her own because more uh, a lot of selfish people out there would have just said fuck that shit. I got what I wanted. I got my man. I don't need anything. I, I, and I didn't do anything to do it. So fuck it, this is great, but this was all on a silver, set up on a silver platter, but actually, you know, now that I'm thinking about it, Chisaki, it was kind of your fault. You set the shit in motion because you and Yuna um, were gone. And she realized that. And she, it didn't really say it, but she kind of, uh, um, she kind of real, I hope, I hope Chisaki realizes that part of it was her fault. But, uh, well, not, she can't now because the memories are gone. But very curious what you guys think. Um, are you guys proud of Chisaki for what she did? And uh, what, are your, um, what are your thoughts in the comment section below? Like, I really want to know. I'm kind of disappointed we didn't get to see the confrontation with... Um, with the uh with the shakuhita i really would have i really wanted to see that but um maybe next chapter we'll get like a flashback of what happened um because i really really want i really want to see that fight i 
do because that fight was probably awesome I, I will not accept it being off screen but anyway very curious what you guys think let me know your thoughts in the comment section below and remember to like comment share and subscribe to nerdigan sync if you love what i'm doing and want to help keep this channel alive so i can keep bringing uh yuaki sony unison content to you guys there's a few ways you could do that you can join to my paypal patreon gofundme purchase something off my uh amazon wish list all that's in the description box below also make sure you follow me on twitter twitch facebook from me on playstation network that's in the description box below as well till next time nerdigans i will be seeing you later